Yes, boys and girls, you see nothing exploded. And here we are. So what does this excerpt actually say? Quote, the Big Bang Theory doesn't explain how the universe began. The theory only explains how the existing universe could have developed. <laughs> Who could ask for anything more, you know? <laughs> See, the Big Bang idea started with a guy named Latimer. Wait, wait, wait. The devil knew this was going to be hard to get folks to believe, so he thought and he thought and he thought, and one day he came up with the Big Bang Theory. I suppose asking for internal consistency is a little much. <laughs> Who could ask for anything more, you know? <sighs> See, the Big Bang idea started with a guy named Latimer. He said the thing that exploded was two, uh, a few light years in diameter. Well, at the minimum, that would be two, so that's about 12 trillion miles in diameter. Later, they said, oh, no, it wasn't near that big. By 1965, they said it was only 275 million miles in diameter. Then they shrank it and said it's only 71 million miles. They shrank it again to 54,000 miles. Then in 1983, they really shrank it. They said it was a trillionth the diameter of a proton. And now they're saying nothing at all exploded. Yes, unlike religious dogma, science incorporates acquired knowledge. Just think, we could have kept the Bronze Age understanding of the world. That would be fun and enjoyable for everyone. Wow. Just not sure what to say about that. Yes, I suppose not, aside from the fact that a singularity is not nothing. They even put this in major science journals. This fellow said, uh, the observable universe could have evolved, i got to watch that word, from an infinitesimal region. In the Greek, that's a uh, dot. He said it's then tempting to go one step further and speculate that the entire universe evolved from literally nothing. Scientific American is a popular science magazine written for the lay public. In other words, it's not a major scientific journal and contains many of the common inconsistencies of science found in other non-peer-reviewed sources. Really, Mr. Hoban just doesn't know what a good source is. Yes, boys and girls, we all came from a dot, and the dot came from nothing. They call that science and put it in a science book? No, that is called an abysmal straw man argument that Mr. Hoban created. As noted in the middle school textbook, the Big Bang Theory only describes the current expansion of space-time in which our universe lies. Not the origin of anything. I think I'd call that a fairy tale and put it in the garbage. It's better to call it what it is, a silly straw man of your own creation. I said, Professor, uh, what happened to your dot? He said, well, all the dirt in the universe was drawn into this little tiny dot, and it was spinning. It spun real fast. That's what the textbooks teach. It spun faster and faster. And finally, one day, it exploded. Big bang. Wow, Mr. Hoban's dishonesty has just reached a new level. Does this English lit professor review these middle school textbooks? Does he carry them around with him, dozens of them at a time, just in case? But I suppose we should actually look at what these excerpts say. It appears to be describing the gravitational collapse of hydrogen and helium to form a nebula as part of the formation of a star. Mr. Oven even went so far as to annotate this with, quote, the nebula begins to rotate in a big red arrow. This isn't even about the Big Bang Theory. As if to even further drive home the point of his dishonesty, Mr. Hoven zooms in and shows this slide, where he's highlighted the text saying, quote, a star, our sun, was born. This passage has absolutely nothing to do with the Big Bang Theory. This, this is just ludicrous now. And pieces flew off and they became the galaxies, you know, sun, moon, stars, and finally people. Here we are. That was just another abysmal straw man argument. Following the initial expansion of space-time, the universe was composed of elementary particles. It would not be until many other natural processes acted that the first galaxies and stars would form.